Five reasons your baby is struggling with naps from a pediatric sleep consultant. Occasionally, your baby may yawn or become fussy partway through a wake window, which may make you think that they're tired and ready for a nap. They may just need a change of activity or a change of environment. When you put them down for a nap before the end of their wake window, they may struggle to fall asleep and to stay asleep. It happens. Your baby falls asleep while feeding. You were out for a walk, they fell asleep in the stroller. You were driving back from an errand, they took a little nap. It's maybe only 10 or 15 minutes and it seems insignificant. But what happens is that little bit of sleep takes away from their sleep drive. And so when you try to put them down for a nap, they're not fully ready. Keeping your baby awake longer will not make them more tired or more ready for their nap. In fact, instead, they'll become overtired because the body releases adrenaline-based hormones that will oppose sleep. So you'll end up with a hyperactive baby that's truly fighting their nap. Babies thrive on routine and schedule. And while it's okay for the odd nap to be on the go or to run late, when things are constantly erratic, your baby is basically getting junk sleep, a little bit like junk food, and their body doesn't really know whether to be asleep or awake. Too much or too little overall sleep will result in an undertired or an overtired baby. Your goal is to time your baby's naps when their sleep drive is at its highest. Too little sleep drive and they will struggle to fall asleep and stay asleep. If you get too much sleep drive, they'll become overtired and resist the nap. Maintain all naps at home, use age-appropriate wake windows, track all sleeps and keep note of what's working and what's not working. If you're not sure where to start, download Smart Sleep Coach by Pampers, the link's in bio. It has a custom nap plan for you.